Hello, hello, I am back again with another wig show and tell. And today's wig is brought to you by Her Given Hair. If you're interested in this wig during the video or even after the video, the website link to this wig will be in the description box and their social media links as well. The wig that I have today comes with a 13 by 6 parting space. The hair texture is a kinky blown out texture. Hair color, natural color, cap size small. Here's a close up of inside of the wig. It comes with a 13 by 6 parting space, like I said before. Two combs behind the parting space, another comb in the back with adjustable straps. They also inserted a elastic band and it is adjustable just in case if you need an extra secure snug fit. As for the cap material, it is a stretch fit breathable material. This is what the wig looked like straight out of the package. The hair texture feels and look like a kinky straight blown out texture. Here's a close up on the hairline and the hairline comes like very lightly pre-plucked. I wish it came extra pre-plucked, but off camera later on, I go in and pluck it myself. So now I'm just going in with my Babyless Prima 3000 flat iron on the temperature 425 and I flat ironed the whole wig and did a deep right side part. When I was flat ironing the whole wig, I did not put any product on the hair when I was going through each row. The only time I put product on the hair was by the parting space and I used my first wig flyaway tamer and then went in with the hot comb to help melt down the product. Here's a close up of the hairline, the before and after. The left side is how the hairline comes from her given hair and the right side is how I went in and plucked the hairline. To cut off the extra lace on the front, I'm going in with eyebrow razors and I'm just taking the razors and I'm cutting right along the hairline in little zigzag motions. Underneath the lace, I went ahead and applied some makeup powder, but only applied it to the spots that I'll be showing. So that's the parting space and hairline. I don't really believe in taking all my makeup powder and putting it all over the lace if I'm not going to use that side of the parting. But here I am, and now it is time for the install. If you're interested in my bonnet, I will be sure to leave the website link below to that as well. Right there in the back is where I hooked the adjustable straps, and on the adjustable elastic band, I hooked it on the middle clip. Underneath the wig, I'm going in with a brown stocking cap. When I looked up to the camera, I was like, oh, okay, this looks really, really natural, especially after I went in and plucked it just a little bit more. Love it. And I love how the lace is blending in nicely with my skin with only makeup powder. I don't have to go in with foundation. I 
I love how the lace looks on my skin. So I just wanna get the lace as flat as possible to lay down on my forehead. So from the ear tab up to my temple, I'm taking some bed head hard head spray and spraying one layer of that, then going in with the blow dryer and blow drying it until it's completely dry on the warm setting. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side as well. From the ear tab to my temple, I take the spray, spray one layer at that, then go in with the blow dryer again on the warm setting and blow dry it until it's completely dry. I am not going to spray the forehead. I love how it's easy to blend this lace in with my skin. Remember, I only spray the spray from the air tab to the temple. I don't have any spray on my forehead. Now I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 360 and apply some of this powder on top of the lace to help hide my stocking cap underneath and to also help the parting space look a little bit more like scalp. What? Look at these end results. This hair looks so natural. You cannot tell me this isn't my hair. I love it. It looks very realistic. It feels realistic. It's a kinky straight blown out texture, but it has this soft, realistic feeling to it. I wish you guys could touch it. As for the shine, I love how the luster isn't coming off too shiny. It just looks lovely in this ring light. The ends isn't too bad on the hair as well. This is a bob wig, and you can go in and cut it like more blunt if you want or straighten up the cut i didn't go in and customize the cut this is how the cut came on the wig the hair density is thick not too thick but a natural looking thick really lightweight nice for every day when i received the wig straight out of the box the wig didn't come with no foul odor i didn't go in and wash the wig but you definitely can wash the wig you could even bleach the wig as well you can even dye the hair darker because this wig is a natural black color. And I know a lot of people is not a fan of natural black. They love jet black. So you could go in and rinse the wig or permanently dye the wig. The cut is lovely. It has a really nice light flow. I love it. And even though the hair density is thick, I love how it's not giving me like a helmet head. There are certain kinky straight wigs out there and the texture is really thick and dense that sometimes it come off as a helmet on my head but this one I'm liking it nice and I love how in the back when I split the hair I don't see my track showing and you can't see my wig cap wow look at this hair I love it it looks very natural really nice for every day I do believe this wig is beginner friendly the only thing a lot of people might not like is the fact that I went in and plucked the hairline but I just felt like it was it was necessary for me. As for the parting space, it is six inches deep. I love it. To me, the deeper the parting space, the more natural the wig look. The parting space is given scalp. What? And you could barely see the lace on my skin. After that, I started playing around with some styling options for this wig, and I did a half up, half down style. I like this style on me. Cute, simple, nice and calm. Now I'm trying a higher half up, half down style. I definitely had to try that. I saw this style on Kyra Sean and she slayed it. It came out beautiful. So I was like, let me do it on me. And I love it. It came out cute on me too. Ooh. 
Oh, I love this. How cute is this style? It looks so natural, even though the it come as a bob, so the cut isn't super even at the bottom. To me, it still looks cute. When I was styling the wig, it was easy for me. I didn't get any tangling at all. As for shedding, I did get shedding. Shedding was not heavy. I would say it's like low to medium. I feel like it's shedding a lot of people can handle. You don't have to abort the mission and return to sender. I love it. If you're looking for a natural kinky wig, not too long, not too short. Well, actually, this is short. My bad. If you're looking for like a short, medium length wig, kinky straight, I totally recommend this wig. The lace is gorgeous. Love it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for taking time to watch and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, beautiful.